It's all today, live from the couch. Hey, according to a recent Harvard study, Americans throw away 40% of the food they buy, often because of safety fears and with grocery prices rising. We all know about that. Knowing how to make food last can also save you some serious bucks. And here with a few tried and true tips is Chef Tony Nataro, author of Great Kitchen Secrets. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, look, we got a handshake and everything. Star. Absolutely. I don't know about that, but, <laughs> you know. You're 100% right. We just waste our food because it's little tricks and secrets that we never really learned before. So I want to reveal some of the things we did. I got a dozen eggs. I don't know how long they've been there. I don't know if they're good or bad, but I hate to waste them. I'll tell you what. It's really easy to find out how old they are. Let me just show you. I'm going to take an egg from here. I'm going to drop it in the water. If that egg floats all the way down to the bottom and sits there, it's between two to four days old. So it's good. That's correct. That's a good egg. If it sat up a little bit, it would be between five and seven days. If it came to a float, throw it out. So it's just little tricks that my grandmother taught me and my friends and then cooking all the years I have that you learn about this. Because you can't always go by the expiration dates on the packages, That is right? correct. I mean, you just don't know these days. Um, little secrets like how do you keep your eggs lasting longer? Well, you see how this one's a little skinnier on this side? Mm -hmm. Just turn it upside down. The air pocket's down on that skinny side. So you just take your eggs and you store them the reverse side with that big side up. How much extra life will this give the egg? At least a week to 10 days. Whoa! So, you know, people are living home alone. They bought a dozen eggs. You can have fresh eggs for two to three weeks. Turn them upside down. Skinny on the bottom. Quick egg one, two. How many times have we boiled them and you get that crack coming down the shell? Oh, tell me about it. I mean, it. this is something my grandmother showed me. So cool. Just put a little lemon on that shell. It'll harden it in the boiling process. And when you drop those in and you boil it, that will keep them from cracking on you. Really? Just little secrets. That's wild. Tons and tons <laughs> of them. How about produce? Love this. Crisper drawer. One of the things, take your food out of those plastic bags because we keep it in the bag and that has the uh, hastening period with the carbon dioxide and things. We want to let that out. And then this little bugger will save you so much money. That draws the moisture in the drawer so now you don't have wilty vegetables. So your celery will stay fresh for anywhere from five to seven days. And then you're going to wash it before you prepare it that anyway. That is correct. Absolutely. Now this obviously is not coated with Comet. No. This is a new it's just the new clean sponge. sponge. And if you don't like to look at a sponge in there, what I always do, paper towel. Either one, it'll draw the moisture here instead of keeping it there. It stops wilting. Um, this one I love. This is such a simple secret. Look at this. I put a little saucer down on the bottom. Can you see the water content? Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. I don't know. Can, yeah. can you see that? It's moving right there. It's down at the bottom. Yeah. So when you rinse your salad, it's full of water and it sits there and it clings on to the lettuce. And then what happens, it hastens that wilting period. So what I always put is that little saucer at the bottom, plop it in, give it a couple of turns and... That'll take all the water down, and that'll stay crisp from morning until night when you're serving your dinner. Oh. How about fruit? When you cut it, it turns brown. Yes, it always does. It's called the oxidation set, uh, per period. What I do is acidulated water, and everybody misses an age-old secret. A little lemon and water, peel your vegetable or fruit, pop it inside that water, and those pears, when you peel it, won't brown. Your apples won't brown for your apple pies. You can do that with bananas, anything that would normally oxidize. Hey, define, water. define little, and can you use lemon juice, or do you have to use real lemon? You don't lemon? have to use fresh lemon. You can use reconstituted juice. All you do is a couple of nice squirts inside the water, pop your fruit and vegetables in, you're ready to go. I'm going home and turning everything upside down in my refrigerator I have to today. show this. What does this do? Well, it, you know, let me just open this up and show everybody what happens at home. See that water? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's separation. You have to get that on the sky you know, cam. You can get that on the sky cam. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, so, so you this see is what wet. happens after one or two weeks, and then you've got to try to mix it all together, and yeah. people hate it, and, you know, it's gotten dried out. Let me show you what happens when you store it upside down. Look at there. It'll stay that way that for two looks weeks. Delicious. Two weeks. <laughs> so this works with cottage cheese, cottage yogurt. cheese, yogurts, anything that There's you would no sour, cream, especially sour cream. Sour cream will separate really easy on you. So just take them and store them upside down. Make sure the lids are firmly attached, though, because <laughs> that can be a real mess. Absolutely. Clean up on aisle five. My husband thought I was crazy for putting milk in the freezer. Actually, you can freeze milk. The only secret with that is when you take it out, you do want to use it. Looks it looks yellow when um, I take it yeah, out. Yeah, kind of does. But you can extend the life. It's so simple. Little, I'm sorry. Little little secrets. Watch this. We take a little baking soda. Get out. I apologize. Just a pinch. We add that in. You turn that upside down one or two times. That's like a teaspoon, right? Not I mean, even a teaspoon. Not even a just teaspoon. Just a pinch. When I've done this, I've just given that milk 
10 more days of life. <gasps> why, don't, why don't the milk companies just add a little baking soda? Because they want to sell more milk. Exactly, they want to sell more. Now, if I'm putting baking soda in my milk, will I have a massive burp after I drink the milk, or will it not Unless give me? You, if you add a little lemon, oh. <laughs> you'll have a bicarbonate, but you'll no. You'll fizz. No, you won't be doing <laughs> that. Like Alka-Seltzer. That's for Plop, sure. plop, fizz, fizz. But there's, there's so many secrets, and that was one of the reasons I put this book out, Great Kitchen Secrets by Telebrands. There's 5,000 tips from A to Z. So even if you never cooked a day in your life, whether you're looking up an apple, an egg, uh, zucchini, radishes, how to fry, why does this happen when I'm frying or broasting, how to sear something, every secret that I've learned is sitting in our book. What about freezer burn? Our executive uh, producer hates freezer burn on her meat. You know, it, it, and it doesn't matter whether it's meat or an eggplant parmesan, that happens from moisture. It generates up to the top and then sitting in a freezer so it freezes it out. This is your savior right here. Just a little plastic wrap. People don't realize it. But what I do is when I get this home from the supermarket is I place my plastic wrap on first and then I take my tin foil and I wrap this up and now I've put that protective layer so that moisture is not going to build up and now I've stopped my freezer burn and extended the life of that and if you want to even be a little more precautious put that in a plastic bag take a little sharpie mark the date you bought it you're set and ready to go. I get that stuff on ice cream too, those weird little crystal-y things. Take the plastic wrap, open up your ice cream and push the plastic wrap right on top of the ice cream. Now how far down the container it is and then cover it and then put it in a plastic bag. Guess what? There's another seven to eight days. Easy. Well, and how much money have you just saved? That's the key right there. How much is cash in the trash, what we do at home? Yeah. Just take it and throw it out. Yeah. Well, these are great tips for cooks everywhere and people like me that waste a lot of food. So, Chef Tony, thank you so much. Thanks for having I'll me. I'll see you on TV. You. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, everybody. Sure. <laughs> and coming up tomorrow...